Americans. Let's get right to it, though, and kick this off with the food. Hungry Girl became every girl in the kitchen trying to find ways to make foods healthier and healthier foods that you love. And now best-selling author Lisa Lillian, a.k.a. Hungry Girl, is back with her newest cookbook, Clean and Hungry Obsessed. And we are thrilled to have Lisa here on our show today. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. This is your 12th best-selling cookbook. Yes, in a market, it's a lot of books. <laughs> and they're all bestsellers. People love you. In a market that has so many cookbooks, what's your secret? Why do you think this resonates so much? I think it's because it, these books make everyone feel like a chef. It's, mm -hmm. The recipes are so easy, they're so delicious. Everything in this book has less than 375 calories. It's all natural and it tastes amazing. It's remarkable. We have a lot of fans in the studio that are all taking pictures. They're so excited to meet you. Who is Hungry Girl and how did you come up with her? You know, a Hungry Girl is me. I mean, I've always been hungry. I've joked that I'm a foodologist. I'm a regular person. I am not a nutrition specialist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not even a chef. I'm just a person who loves food. And so I created this brand because I wanted to help people like me. I wanted to be everybody's best friend that could help them eat the foods they want to eat and fit into their pants. And that, <laughs> the bottom that's line. very important. <laughs> Clearly, that's why it resonates. You have a regular woman who's showing us how to make things which is really makes you so accessible. So what's the new thing about Hungry Girl Clean and Hungry Obsessed okay, and so its approach to cooking? This obsessed book yes. is all the foods we're obsessed with. My last book was called Clean and Hungry, so that was the new way of approaching Hungry Girl recipes, all natural, all clean ingredients. And this book takes it to the next level because it's things we're all craving. Pizza, french fries, burgers, donuts, mac and cheese, grilled cheese. Anything nachos. you think, nachos, everything Tater you think tots. is off limits that just is not off limits. So what are we making today? So this is a squash crust pizza and I love to use creative and clever pizza crusts. Things, instead of carby crusts, I like to use produce. So this is made with yellow squash. That's a yellow squash, mm -hmm. that's the crust. And then for my sauce, I'm using canned crushed tomatoes with a little bit of onion and garlic and Italian seasoning. And we're just gonna spread that on top like this. This is such an easy recipe and it only has about 277 calories. That's it? That's it. For so a piece or the whole, the whole thing? For the whole thing. For the whole mini thing. pizza. And then you just top it with a little bit of reduced fat mozzarella. You got a lot of cheese there, a little fresh basil. You bake that up and I'm telling you, everyone goes nuts from this pizza. That would be a great lunch. It's a great lunch, it's a great snack, it's a great, I eat it for breakfast. I mean, I'm embarrassed to yeah. say, but it's no, so good. But you should be <laughs> proud of that. You also made peanut butter pie. Yeah. Tell us about the peanut butter so pie the peanut and the other things pie, you have here. It's less than 200 calories. It's made with Greek yogurt and reduced fat cream cheese. It's completely gluten free. And the crust is really, it's made of oatmeal. It is such an amazing thing. You could serve it frozen or you could just serve it chilled. And it is a real crowd pleaser. You could eat that for breakfast. You, could, you can eat that. For, I have done it. <laughs> I have High done protein it. and oatmeal. You, you, you are can't so go right. wrong with and that. And this uses powdered peanut butter, which is one of my secret ingredients. It's such oh. a great thing because you could really cut out a lot of fat and it's all natural and it tastes great. You get a lot of that peanut butter flavor in there. And you have some secrets to doubling recipes yes. that are mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. The growing oatmeal is the okay. best. Okay, so oatmeal servings are usually depressing. They're tiny. Right. So when I make oatmeal, I use twice as much liquid. So I use a cup of water and a cup of like almond milk or skim milk, and you cook it for twice as long, and then you let it sit, and it grows. This one actually tastes like brownies. That's a brownie-flavored oh, one. A brownie-flavored so, oatmeal. Yeah, but that whole bowl has less than 300 calories, and it is tremendous. That's a huge bowl. It's That's a, a huge, regular size yes. bowl. Because it's so sad when they say a serving, and then the serving is like a thimble. I know. And you're well, like, I'm, like, I'm just going to get mad if I right. Everything is huge servings. Th those this? are tachos. Tach <laughs> what are tachos? <laughs> tachos. Well, this is crazy because they're like nachos that are made from tater tots, except my tater tots are made with cauliflower. So there's a lot going on here. It's going to make your yeah. head explode. So the top, the nachos themselves are tachos, tater tots made of cauliflower, topped with all your favorite Mexican ingredients that make it taste like a nacho. And the serving of that is about 210 calories Again. or so. So it's so delicious. Kids love this recipe. It's easy to make. It's one of my favorites. Tell us about these. That's a lasagna stuffed spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash, one of like the most valuable it's players awesome. in my kitchen. It is so good. It's such a good pasta swap. And again, a huge serving of that less than 220 calories. And it tastes like lasagna, it tastes like spaghetti, and it makes everybody happy. And you also have a magazine <laughs> in the works. Yes. Because of course she does. She has Hungry her own magazine. Hungry Girl Magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah, there'll be an issue out in January and one in the spring. I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be 
beautiful, and it's going to have tons of recipes and even stuff for pets. So there's like pets. A lot, yeah, there's a lot. Hungry Girl lot magazine, mm -hmm. and it's also published by Meredith Corporation, which we are thrilled about because Meredith Corporation owns us. So that's like one link closer to Hungry Girl. So we are very like excited. Sisters. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so exciting! And you have an awesome event tonight. Yes, I'm it's, so excited. It's not just a meet and greet. You're going to be giving out prizes and it, having like a uh, competitions and things. What's happening well, there's tonight? There's like a book signing. I give out amazing goodie bags with tons of free snacks, lots of Q&A, tons of selfies. It's just so like a big party. People get to meet you and take yeah, selfies and they get absolutely. gifts. Absolutely. It's tonight <laughs> at 7. You'll be at Unity Temple on the plaza for all sorts of fun, like a big party. For tickets to the Rainy Day Books event, you can still call now and get them. It's 913-384-3126, but call now because those are going fast. Lisa, Lillian, Hungry Girl, thank you so much for being here. Great so fun be here. meeting you. <laughs>